y'all see me? What the heck? Uh, there we go. What's up, everybody? I'll start back today for another video. Today, I've got my food with me. Uh, we're gonna be setting the uh, dog-proof traps out and two or another cage trap on top of that other one we have in the woods right now. So, I've got some spots in mind. Uh, it got, it's gonna be kind of weird with the property line and everything, but hopefully we get on some coons and I'm wanting to skin one and see what I can do with that. So you guys stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get on some coons and I'm gonna go set all these and show you guys, but I'm throwing the GoPro on, so it'll, it'll be a cool little angle, but you guys stay tuned. It's gonna be a good video, just like the last one, baby. What's up guys? I got my first dog proof trap set. Uh, filled it with um, dog food uh, and we got it set next to a dead deer that just got attacked by coyotes. So um, hopefully we get a raccoon or possum or a skunk even. What's up y'all, me and Hunter back here. It's the next day. We checked the other two cage traps. There's nothing in them. This set across the creek right here does not have anything in it. But the guy across the creek by the dead deer carcass got one. Uh, that was a pretty uh, probable set there. I kind of knew there would be some stuff checking that out. So that's successful. We got the gun. We're going to get him. And then I think I'm going to skin him and see what I can do. So uh, that if you guys can see that cooner there, I'll, I'll zoom in on him here soon. Uh, that's a cool uh, it's a first first time in the, in the dog proofs, baby. There he is on my phone right now honestly it feels freaking great to be successful on the first try but this coon is gonna be mad all right y'all here's the first coon in the foothold um well he's being pretty chill honestly got hunter here uh, right next to the dead deer good little spot uh now we gotta you know, take care of him but see you guys then well guys, uh, we got the uh, raccoon dispatched, and uh, there it is. And uh, now we're just gonna uh, take it home and, well, get him out of the trap real quick and reset this trap, and we're gonna take him home. And, well, should we, where, where, where should we try skimming it? Guys, that coon was this close to getting out. I had like eight knots on there, and that that's still not gonna budge, but he had two or three knots come undone. Crazy. I wonder if I should go above or below the nuts. I hope this knife is sharp. It should be. Samurai sword on my back. All right, y'all. So here's like kind of the uh, finishing touch of the raccoon it still needs to get a bunch of the fat off i need to scrape some more of that fat off and get all that blood out this is my first one by the way and then i'm gonna flip it over and show you guys what it actually looks like it doesn't look bad at all it's kind of frozen but i mean that ain't too bad for a first timer yes sir mr raccoon right there um it ain't the greatest, but it ain't the the, the worst. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so I'm currently down in my basement. I'm putting a uh, bucket with water in here, uh, with hot water. I'm gonna put salt in it so I can get some of that extra fat off the coon. I'm gonna let that sit in there for, I don't know how long, but I'm gonna try to get all that extra fat off there. But we got this, we got the coon finally um, all done and skinned and we got it off. It's not the best. There's a hole in it at one point and I mean, that's my first, it was our first ever coon that we skinned, but um, it did turn out pretty good, honestly. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I went out and worked out real fast right after and came, just came back home. So it was a crazy little uh, period of time there for like two hours. I was, I, I was rushing the coon and all that, but uh, I actually did save a piece of meat that we were going to eat. So you guys stay tuned for that. That is going to be insane. Um, it looks nasty. I'm doing it for you guys and tasting the raccoon. So stay tuned. It's going to be a cool uh, little taste test. And yeah. It is looking done. Okay. All right, y'all. So we got the freaking coon right here. Or the, rac the raccoon right here. Um, 
and we are going to be eating it. Uh, doesn't look the greatest. I'll give you guys a little close up here, but um, it, it smells gr smells really bad. And uh, yeah, I just cut a piece off of the leg whenever we skinned it, and I was like, screw it, let's freaking try the raccoon. So now we're here. So we got us some salt and pepper, right? Uh, I'll put a little sp spice it up. We got salt bay. There's juice on this plate, but here we go. This is all fat. <laughs> all right, I'm doing it. I swallowed it. Oh my God. All right. I know you guys are going to be like, why is this kid not eating this? Like, whatever. I have the best homemade recipe. <laughs> but that was terrible. That was just straight fat. I don't know. I don't know how to prepare these. I just straight boiled it. And what this meat looks like is just disgusting. I'm not going to lie. I don't care about that. I've, I've, I'll try everything. But I did not prepare this well. I just wanted to try it and say I tried a raccoon. So, do I recommend boiling it? No, not at all. Do I recommend eating whatever this part is? No. Um, God. All right, we'll try this part too. This is like more meat. There's like... That changed my opinion a little bit there. Not gonna lie, that tasted pretty good. This meat part, that tasted pretty good. Everything else, yeah, that was freaking terrible. So, you guys wanna catch a raccoon, you're dying in the woods, go ahead, eat it. Or if you got your grandpa's homemade recipe that's really good, go ahead and eat it. But boiling it by itself, with this, all this fat, and I didn't, I didn't really prepare it too well. So definitely prepare it better next time. But this sucks, so hey, I take that back. Doesn't suck. This part isn't bad. The fact that it's a raccoon kind of, I don't know, doesn't really sway me that much. I'm not one that's to judge for it. It smells a little funny, and uh, it's just kind of uh, a raccoon, so. Yeah, that is it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys like this video, please go ahead and go leave me a like in the comments. Uh, or not in the comments. Give me a comment, too. If, if you guys have this super good recipe for a raccoon, I might try it later. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I know a lot of people eat them. I just don't know how to prepare it. And Well, I didn't really fix the meat too well. I was in a rush. So I just cut off a piece of the leg. It was right behind the leg. and Yeah, so... You guys stay tuned for more videos. I appreciate you watching, especially if you got to this point in the video. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. So, please, please, please go help me. Um, it helps it, uh, it helps the video a ton whenever you like it and comment. And, uh, yeah, if you guys actually like the video, I don't want you to like it if you don't. But if you do, go ahead and like it. It helps me rank real high. I'm a small channel, and it helps me get out to a larger audience. So, you guys stay tuned for more videos. I don't know what's next. I actually, actually... Crow hunting is next, or another trapping video. I don't know. Stay tuned. We got the content here. Outsider out. Peace.